yes, we are back here at Vale End Cemetery. And uh, due to the fact that of all the comments I got on this place and uh, things that I never knew about, <clears throat> I had to make a point to come back here. Plus, somebody was asking me to come back here, so hell yeah, I made it today to, on the 4th of July. Ain't got much to do today. Blue lady. And I also wanted to mention some other things. But as you can see down in the woods here. Yeah, zoom in there. There's a huge lake. Now someone had commented on this video. After the fact of me coming out here. That there was a uh, stop. They were out here fishing one night, her and her husband. And I forgot, it was late at night, I guess. And they did hear a loud, if, if this person <clears throat> is somewhat like me, as you can say, not easy to scare. And that person got very scared that night when they heard this occur in this area. Now, when I first came out here, I did not learn the lay of the land. On one article, and that was about, you know, the blue lady, a man searching for his daughter, and, of course, the Pukwaji. And I find, I don't know, some other stuff started coming up. And another person did a video out here. And there's a guy that's on my page. I'll have to put him in the uh, description box if you want to check out his videos. But he came here with a person to do like a seance type thing, voice box session. And the lady got vibes, I believe, from this place. <clears throat> and he too has gotten stuff here. Me though, when I come to this place, I definitely feel at ease, at home. And it's about to wonder why, because coming in here today, and I didn't do it the last time I came through, because I came through a different way. But now that I can see there's falls down the road here, the lake out in the... Uh, indicates that Indians, and there's paths, railroad tracks, mind you, and there's a path right over there beyond this... On the entrance coming in here, there's a path that you can walk. And I just seen down below near the lake, too, where you, there's a path. Through. So there is a lot of places to walk around here and paths. And not only that, the person that I've... The other person that I have to put in the description box, if you're interested in watching their video, they did a voice box session here. This, as we speak and walk on, just like another video I have up... Indians lived right on this area. All this area used to be probably loaded with wigwams and uh, Indian tribe. Now I noticed and I looked up on, I am not could be wrong, but I believe the Pentecooks uh, and the, um, the other tribe, Pawtucket maybe, but most likely the Pentecook tribes used to live on the southern border of New Hampshire. So I mean, I'm, I'm good to, uh, the Pentecook tribes lived here. Because, like I said, they took on the southern border. Uh, now I know this blue lady has a stone similar to this crack. But I don't know if this is the one. Um, Mayor Redding could be it. That could be it. And where I was standing. When I was here that night, I was, as you can see, my red car there. Just these set of trees. I was standing the night I came here. And that's over in that area near the lake where I started hearing some strange noises. All of my videos. And... 
so say over in this area where the red car is go over there after i seen these orbs shoot up and down there was a lot of orb and activity and i got the blue ladies mist come out <clears throat> so i mean there is a lot of legend here there is a lot of going on in this area and i believe that could be the stone of the blue lady so when I was standing over here, which I'm going to go over here now. Like I said, I literally stood in that spot and uh, throughout the whole area. Pointing the camera here, I started down there when I started. And I'm going to say at least somewhere in this area, this vicinity right here, there was the flash of orbs and stuff. And it was so damn cold that night, I, my fingertips were literally numb. And I do have my wife and son here today, so... I don't know what I'm gonna do for a uh, silent video, but... Yeah, I can say... When I got here that night, there was not much snow in this area, so... I literally ran the two phones I had throughout this whole area, you know, going back and forth. And I can honestly say my camera literally took that picture by itself somehow. I notice sometimes my cameras do that. And it could have been that I was pointing in this direction when that blue lady, and that could be the stone mist showed itself and the zig my fucking phone's freezing up i mean you see him shoot up and go in this different this directions but when I, when I turn the phone this way though this is over towards the lake that's where i was getting that whatever's out in that lake and whatever that big cracking was i'll tell you one thing not only what i've been searching and what i've been looking up I've been also finding out how close Bigfoot sightings are near Indian tribe living. That's Mount Wachusett, Lemonster with Monster Land. Indians lived in that area. Here, right here, Indians lived here. I mean, there's so in the, like, the legend of the Pukwudgie, you know, I'm not the one to break any try and make anything up or withhold or I mean not withhold but tell secrets but I honestly believe Indians of back in the day I think they made the legend of the Bigfoot especially the ten Indians that used to live in Corning New York which I also have that video up there's a squana cause or something you know, these names I don't use on a daily basis, so I can't remember a lot of things. But coming here, and I did, I took some pictures over in that area, and I did get a image of a round head body figure in the same size as a Pukwudgie. They're supposed to be like three feet tall. Mythic legend. But I am going to take some more pictures today of the people that have their own videos up here with their voice box sessions. But me, I don't need all that stuff. Me, I just come in here and things happen. Just like my nighttime videos. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to get back here at night anytime soon. I'm going to try my damnedest. Because it was winter time. I do want to try. I'm going to see what I can do to get here fall that's right summer indian summer if no one knows this is our the fall season and i'm gonna definitely try and get back here at that time definitely in the month of october if anything i'm gonna try to get here maybe the day before or the day to be after so I'm sure I'll be doing other things on Halloween with the kids, so probably going to make it out to Salem this year because they got some good stuff out there, but 
the day before, day after. I'm going to try to think maybe sooner than later, but I'm going to definitely see what I can do. There's nothing to save now. All is lost but a tiny core of stillness in the heart. Like the eye of the violet. <laughs> what the hell is that? Well, this is a new one. Husband, father, friend, fisherman. Wow. That was just... Hmm. But anyways... I am going to do a little soundless <clears throat> thing here and see if anything unordinary comes up. Do the best I can with my kid running around here, but after that I'm going to take some more pictures. But a lot coming in from my last videos and very, ex you know, extremely thankful for the people that shared their stories. And finding out more about this place than what I knew. And to know that Indians, well, into that this walked and lived here is the biggest honor that I dream of. To walk on the same land as Native Americans. Because like I say in all my videos, like today, illegal immigrants coming over here. And speak our language. You cut out your living techniques. You stop your stuff. You become our religion. You do this. You do that our way. And that's that. And you like it. No, that's not how it should work. You come in here to become an American. You... A, I'm going to end it with this. There's a lot of controversy going on with these, you know, concentration camps. You might as well call them, right? Kids getting separated, kids from their parents. But guess what? I haven't heard anybody talk anything. 20 years, illegal immigrants came in to do it legally. I don't hear nothing more about them. They had it on the news one day. And they ain't still not giving them the proper salute, the proper, you know... Uh, news footage all the time. 20 years they waited to get in here properly. And now what are their opportunities from doing it for 20 years and letting and be sitting in the back of the bus like us and wait as an American citizen for these other ones to just get everything handed to them for free? I'm sorry, but to me, that's not right. With it, Millions of years ago, six, seven hundred years ago, and now it's still happening, and it's getting worse. All back again, all back again to take from the ones that are originally from here. Other than I don't like to make this political, but it's only true. And you're about to wonder why Indians cursed these lands with the Pukwudgie, with the Bigfoot, with other skinwalkers. That's right. They cursed these lands and made these demons, you may call them, to stay off their sacred ground and to leave their places of their living alone because they got cut short a lot of places, just like Johnny Depp buying back Indian land to give to the Indians. That's respect, and that's how it should be. If I had millions of dollars, I'd buy back Indian. One day, one day, I hope to do that. My damn self. Because they lost a lot in a lot of lives. Just, uh, you know, fight for once they want what they owned. When you got an Englishman walking three miles out and three miles back saying, "This here, here's a pair of boots, a hat, a coat, and some tobacco. That's sick for 20, 30, 40 acres of land. You know what? Think about it. Let's do a little silence thing right now. Give my big, huge respects to the blue lady, to the man who lost his daughter. And man, I'd love to find you, Mr. Puckwudgie. <laughs> Although, I don't know what you'd be scaring here because... Like a lady that said she don't scare easy, neither do I. And I love to run into that. 
But let's get a little silence. See what we catch. Here we go, my kids are gonna start up. I ain't gonna be able to do that. <laughs> Of course, the airplane's flying by, too. Once again, the Valen Cemetery. I hope to get. I'm gonna take some pictures like I did before. See what I get out of them. Until they have a nice big root that used to stand here with a huge tree. Till that next video, be safe.